Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. I'm just warning you beforehand that I say the word um several times. So I know this isn't the actual video, but I'm just warning you. Later. I'm back, and today I have the Prezine restaurant, as you can see. Um, and this will be a review on it. Um, so yeah. Um, first, let's start with the exterior. Um, uh, let's see here. So I like the... Um, boy croissants, um, and right here, and the clams, um, and, um, this was pretty fun to build as well, and then I really like the, um, the curved roof there, um, and as we go down, um, or in the same level, um, you can see the, um, the two windows, and they actually have, um, like crossed out windows, sort of. Um, and then you get to this section, which is, um, I believe feathers? Um, I'm not 100% sure on that one, but, um, yeah. And then, um, right here we have, um, little Technic pins, um, which go pretty nice. Um, and you have a little balcony and stuff. Oops, oh, well, you know what, that's gonna be open. Um, then you got some flower beds and stuff, um, windows, and as you move down, um, you can see that you have, um, a little, like, fenced, um, like, roofing area for the patio out here, and there are some leaves for extra shade, as well as some lights for in the evening. Um, then you have some chains to kind of chain off this area, um, and then you have... Um, a chair and a table um, with a croissant, and then you have two chairs and one table um, with nothing on it. Um, and then you got some flowers and stuff. Um, and then right back here, these little Technic lift arms and these poles. Um, these were kind of hard to build, getting the things in there, so I had to pound them on the table, sort of. But um, yeah, um, then we just have some some detail. And Ben's, Ben, our cameraman, is really lazy, so as you can see, he's getting a chair. Right, ben, watch out for the Legos behind you, okay? Yeesh. Um, and then you have this little um, sign on two poles, and then um, you've got the um, little, not curtain, but um, the little, like, shade area. Tent thing. <laughs> tent thing. Sure, we'll call it that. Then you have um, a, a little light outside, as many modulars do. Some ferns and stuff. And then you have a staircase to go up to the balcony. So as I turn it this way, you guys can see... Whoa, crease in the table there, so that's going to be a little uneasy. But um, as you can see, um, there's a pretty nice randomized chimney here. Um, and then that goes between two levels. And the balcony here um, uh, is basically, it just has um, some, like, a wine bottle and a um, cup. Or a uh, cup, yeah, we'll call it that. Then you have um, four chairs, two tables. Then you have some hanging flower pots. Um, I'm going to just scoot this over this way. Yeah, some hanging flower pots, um, and then you can walk up to the um, this level, which I'm not going to spoil just yet, and you can also get into this level right here. Um, yeah, and then for this level here, um, you have another little patio type thing in the back, and then since obviously this is called the Prezi Restaurant, um, there would be a kitchen, so this is how you would get in and out. Um, you got some, uh, bushes, um, growing on the side of the restaurant. Um, and, uh, you got a little dumpster. Um, the one thing I would change is this, I really wish they could, um, change this to, like, the olive green color, sort of. And then when you go to this side, this doesn't bother me as much, just because it'll be against another modular. But um, still would have been nice if they could have changed that to that olive color. 
um, as well as this brick here. But um, I guess the interior matters a little more than a blank side. So yeah. Then you got a little rain gutter, um, and that just goes down into the little um, vent piece, and then that brings us back to the front. So now I'm going to take off the first two floors right here. So just put these aside. Um, so Ben, if you would like to um, get the camera in a better angle, that would be great. So, on um, the inside here, you can see that we have um, a little kitchen area with a chef, a pot, um, then some pastries, it looks like, a stack of dirty dishes, a sink, a clock, and um, a rolling pin, a couple knives, a couple knives, and, um, yeah, and then a little um, uh, fridge in the back. Um, and then you have this little, um, I guess it would be a receptionist area, sort of. Um, then I like how they curve this off, sort of, to make it, um, you know, just at a slant. You got a waiter, um, nice, uh, proposal going on, and, um, a wedding, or wedding, um, wine cabinet. Um, so yeah, got a couple windows, um, I don't, I don't know why they would have a window right here, just because this might be against another modular. But I've kind, I sort of mapped it out to where um, I would have another modular go right here, and you could still see through the window. So you weren't looking at a blank wall. Um, it's all about the citizens, right? So now I'm going to put this little section back on, and I'm going to put... Um, this section back on. So, yeah. Um, and then, just gonna shut these doors. So, I, uh, um, I already showed you the deck. What? So, alright, that's fine. So, as you can see here, we have a little chair with a stool. A um, little lamp and then over on this side we have a little kitchenette area with a pan on the stove an oven and a little um, uh, cupboard type thing um, and then as you can see, whoa I guess I should have shown you this in a different way but then right there you can see a little um, stool with a table and a cup so for the next floor um, this is the front, obviously, side, back, and then the blank side right here. Um, this is how you would get in. The staircase back here um, would lead you into this door. And they actually, and since this is somewhat hard to reach, they give you a little pull tab. So then you can um, get access to this. Um, this one is probably my favorite floor. Or one of my favorite floors, um, just because of um, the. I just like how the little stool, or not stool, um, excuse me, the little um, artist has his. Um, I forget what this is called. Easel, right? Easel, I think it is. Yep. He has his little easel, and then right over here, he has his little um, paint tray palette thing. I'm going to stick that. Uh, where's the jumper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Um, and then, as you can see in the corner, they have um, an art that's a piece of art that's either drying or um, it's just sitting there waiting to be shipped off to a museum or something. Or sold or something. Yep. And then right here in the corner, um, they you have a little kiln for, like, um, I'm not sure if you use uh, a kiln for, like, pottery or something. But, um, I think yeah, so. I'm, not, I'm not really an artist, so, yeah. Um, you can actually, like, hinge this up, but it's not really supposed to be hinged up like that. So, yep, and, of course, now that I do that, it slides right out of its socket. Of course. 
Alright, okay, that's back. So, this is the only one you should really open and close, but close that up. You can see you have some, like, skylights and stuff, because those are really the only windows you can have besides these. Anyway, what is your fit? What, what do you mo like most about the, the top part? Um, about this? Yeah. Section? Well, I do love the architecture on the outside. Um, so, like, right here, then the um, clams or seashells or whatever, and the white croissants. Um, this is pretty cool because you, uh, what? Okay. So, um, yeah, we just, um, yeah. Okay. Just hinge um, these up. For me, up. I'd say it is back here with this paint tray. The, um, the how you can get like the, the color, the really good colors and the, yep. You can get, you can see the colors, and it's not like, like it. Not blurry. See, not blurry. So yeah. And uh, and also with Henry's in the front. So yeah, that was our review on the um. Freezing restaurant. Yep. So we will see you guys later.